you think waffles, you think sweet because it's a fun little breakfast and you're going to put some maple syrup and you're good to go. But the, the fine men here from Oak Haven Table and Bar in uh, beautiful downtown East Rock and beautiful downtown New Haven are here to say no. You can do so much more with waffles, right? Yeah, you yeah. can. Uh, so we're today we have the stuffing waffle that we are going to make we, here. We should say this, by the way, uh, Kevin Wilkett, we'd say hi to you. Hi. And uh, hey, Dan, how are you? Dan Chapman is a GM. Nice to see you. Oh, we're going to talk, uh, talk to Dan in a second, but you get to oh, work. Yes. Because uh, as you started to say, waffles you can really just, just go crazy with these days. And, and that's going to be the theme of something you guys are doing over at Oak Haven, right? Yeah, so uh, in the month of November, we are doing uh, Waffle Wednesdays. Okay. Like so, the sound of that. So this month we are featuring our uh, stuffing waffle. So we're just going to stuffing waffle. Stuffing with turkey and brown gravy. Okay, so as you put that in, what's in that? So what's in that is a little apple, a little um, sausage, uh -huh. uh, wheat bread, uh, a little stock, okay. and then we cook all that together, chill it, and then it goes in the waffle. Maker. How long does it have to chill? Chill for about half hour. Because you want the consistency yes. to be nice and yes. tight for, for, the, for the waffle to work. The key here, I would imagine, is when it comes to making to a savory waffle, as the case may be, yes. the sky's the limit. Yeah, you can put anything. We, um, we've we done, um, uh, what are they called? Mozzarella sticks, <laughs> meatballs. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. Uh -huh. uh, we've done banana bread. We've okay. done... But, in, but when you're doing a I know how to do a waffle, you know, I know it's the buttermilk and it's the flour and an and, and, and egg and you're binding it all together. Do you have to make the consistency a little different? Uh, a little bit different. We, we do add a little bit of flour to the mm -hmm. um, stuffing just so it sticks together right. a little bit more so then it doesn't stick to the waffle. And then it goes into your waffle maker yeah. and you can go to town with that, right? Yeah. Absolutely. All right, so that's working on uh, four minutes, four two minutes. minutes each time, like a yeah. regular waffle. Just a regular waffle. All right, Dan, your turn. So uh, you're going to pair these waffles. If you haven't been to Oak Haven Table and Bar. Let, let, let me kiss up just for a second here. One of my favorite restaurants. Been around five, six years now. Yep. Uh, I love it. You guys are very creative, very innovative with your farm to table stuff, but also you guys have a great bar. We do. You really do have a very uh, widespread bar. So if you like, if you like sampling different, your different bourbons, your different whiskeys, we, uh, this we is always the place have to go. We never usually run out of whiskey, so it's uh -huh. usually uh, fun stuff. But yeah, all fresh squeezed juices for cocktails. Uh -huh. Cocktail program has been fantastic. Uh, definitely most known for our barrel picks and things of that nature. So I would imagine uh, your sommeliers there or your your bartenders, uh, uh, they certainly do. They know how to pair a waffle. Sure do. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, when it comes to waffles, uh, uh, Kevin does a great job coming up with the dishes. Uh, something like the uh, Thanksgiving waffle. Uh -huh. uh, we definitely want to pick a certain style if you're going whiskey with it. Uh, some of them more malt, some what, of them more What pairs with stuffing, Dan? Come uh, on. I mean, we do have some good ones. <laughs> one of my favorite, this is a, my, our personal favorite that pairs with it, our, our Russell's Honey Pot Barrel Pick. Uh -huh. uh, one of the owners actually got a chance to meet with Jimmy Lee Russell and hand pick a barrel down in Kentucky. Uh -huh. uh, it actually, we could even try if you like. It uh, uh, goes uh, pretty damn good with it. Uh, Malty is cut through, you know, the nice little richness of the gravy and the richness of the stuffing. Okay. Um, and you know, preferably flip need. that over. I know we're at two minutes and we got to go, <laughs> right? I, 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 somebody's got to watch the waffle. And then clearly not you, so it's fine. <laughs> okay. Also, so in terms of working uh, some of these bourbons, you, you can work it into the recipes as well. So what we do, yeah, uh, particularly with the waffle nights, uh, we actually pair it up with uh, mm -hmm. custom made whiskey flights, right. where it's three one ounce pours. Uh -huh. uh, usually, again, when we have the time, we will preset it. But if right. someone's like, hey, I've had, I've had this, I've had that, uh, our bartenders and myself be more than happy to pick out. Something different. And this is going on all throughout the month. You're doing a special uh, waffle, waffle Wednesday. Wednesday. The waffle Wednesday every okay. month. So go Whiskey check. every day. And you're doing this for brunch as well? Yes. A couple of these leftovers yeah. for brunch. Uh, Excellent. Uh, all right. We got about 30 seconds left. So let's pair. Right. Let's plate this up. Oh. By the way, we have another one right here. What do you, what do you got over here? That is our banana waffle that uh -huh. comes from uh, for brunch. Okay. So you very work. well could easily, if you want, uh, have a, a sweet one if you want. Yes. Right? We do have a sweet and a savory uh -huh. every. Uh -huh. Does that need more time that in there? That needs more Pop time. In there. That's all right. You know why? But we do have one here. Here's the finished product. We, we roll with the punches around here. It's fine. I'm still going to eat that one later on. Again, stuffing waffle with some gravy, turkey. Roasted turkey? This, yep. this is perfect for Thanksgiving perfect dinner. For Thanksgiving. You got everything but a fork here. What's the matter? Fork? Oh, come on. Uh, there you go. Oak Haven Table and Bar, if you want to check it out, thank you very much. Uh, again, one of my favorite restaurants. 
which means if you go there in there and tell them Matt sent you, you don't get a thing. Yeah, try the local yeah. syrup. Yeah. Local maple syrup. And with the syrup as well. All right, I'll do that next. Uh, let's put up the seven day while I take a quick bite, and uh, we'll show you that we do have a cold day ahead, but not bad. 48 with uh, some sunshine. Rain coming in overnight tonight, mainly by tomorrow morning. And we are going to see uh, what is going to be a lot of rain, at least through the midday tomorrow and then Friday. Still watching Friday for some potential trouble, but it'll be out of the way for the weekend. So brunch service should be fine, boys, okay? <laughs> Oak Haven Table and Bar in uh, New Haven. Uh, check out their waffles, which is what I'm going to do right now. Oh, that's good. And waffles, who knew? You could do anything with them. Guys, thanks for coming Thank in. You. Thank you. Thank you. And with my mouth full, I'm going to say thanks for watching. We'll see you at 4 o'clock.